Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching Anfa Rambling Indefinitely. Today I want to solder some broken headphone jack and tell you about my perspective on music components, planes of music, like the dimensions of musical compositions or musical works that make them what they are and that we can use to classify them and also figure out what do we want to focus most on uh, or what needs more attention to make our music better? Yeah. I just, I was talking to myself about this for the past like half an hour or more. And I've realized that I could record that and it could be useful for someone instead of me just telling it myself. I already know that. So, you know, I have this, I have this, I have this headphones, these headphones, you might recognize them. I use them in all my videos and I broke the jack. Like I, it just was looking like this. Not, not a good sign, right? And it doesn't really work that well. So I had to cut it off and I bought... A new one, which is this, which is new trick, or what's the, what's the uh, Rian? Yeah, Rian, a brand of new trick, something like that. And I'm trying to basically solder it in. However, the only uh, solder solder it in, but the only <laughs> device I have for that job is. This. This very one, very, very hardcore device. I don't know if you can see the smoke. Can you see the smoke? There's smoke here. Right. So yeah. So the thing is that um, what, I, what I'm going to tell you is not something I have learned uh, on in any school or I have read somewhere or or someone told me or whatever. What I'm gonna tell you is basically what I have figured out like just thinking and making music and a lot of different projects for a lot of different things of different genres and listening to a lot of music and this is kind of my um, it's kind of my breakdown of how can you all how can you bring this all together and like differentiate different types of music and different artists and figure out what you like in music you listen to? So the thing is, I, I would define in my mind uh, kind of uh, a set of different layers or planes of music. That would be, you know, like song structure or melody harmony, rhythm, timber, and lyrics. And these are like these are like layers of information that you put into music that come that make it what it is. For example, if you have a music with no melody, it's got to be all uh, atonal, right? There is no melody. But you can still make music. You can make music without melody. And it can be very dis decent. And sometimes going for a music that has no melody, for example, for video games or movies, for some parts, making a piece that has no melody is the best piece you can put there. Or, you know, for example, we have this big division of vocal and instrumental music. At least I feel so. Like we have music that revolves around someone singing, and we have music that just revolves around the instruments doing their job. And I would treat a human voice or a singer's voice as just another instrument. However, that instrument has something very unique, and it adds a whole new layer to the music, which is the lyrics. Oh, by the way, I have a borrowed pair. Of the same headphone model uh, 
from a friend who came over and I taught him LMMS basics and Zenitsub FX basics and he is still waiting for me to return them but yeah it's gonna take some time crap these these don't do their job very well I think I need to get another pair I have a bunch of them which one's gonna work so for example when I when you listen to neurofunk music like Noisia, the Dutch trio, if you have been listening to their music, I would say that their music is highly focused around rhythm and timber, which this is like this is their thing: rhythm and sound design, making interesting timbers, textures, chromat chromatic music one could say based around uh, timbers not um, around melodies melodies are rather sparse in their music I mean I, I would say that they're rather minimal uh, of course this is all an approximation because you know they have pieces which are very melodic and also pieces that have a lot of harmony also some interesting harmony but the majority of their sound, as we think of it, is based on the rhythm and the timbre. On the other side, for example, if you think about something like Dream Theater, which is a prog metal band, very well known, uh, their music is very heavily based on rhythm also but also heavily based on melody and harmony and it adds lo vocals like a lot you know noisia has some vocals so the pl the vocal plane is there but usually their music doesn't rely on that it's it's just an additional thing it's just a just something to to help the whole thing punch more it's not it's not the main dish and if you think about, for example, most pop music, most pop music is heavily based on lyrics and vocal, vocals and melodies, I would say. No, that's not true. Actually not. Actually rhythm. Rhythm, rhythm and vocals and the melodies are um, like the, the third component. For example, um, it turns out that rap is super popular because rap rap is most focused on lyrics and rhythm and these are the things that the most people can easily understand and and appreciate you don't have to have good uh, pitch recognition to be able to admire this music you only need to be able to understand speech which is every peop everybody on the planet who speaks a language and you only need to be able to appreciate rhythm and the rhythms are very strong and rather simplistic I would say they are not like you know some crazy intelligent brain, like brain dance uh, EDM IDM crazy breakbeat stuff no the rhythms in rap are are funky but they're rather slow so they're also uh, rather easy to to absorb also, the, the modern rap is very heavily influenced by the trap music, which is also kind of like, I guess, the natural extension of rap. When the rappers, especially the black ones from USA, are just, you know, just going, merging with the electronic dance music scene, kind of. This is what I, this, at least this is how I view that. So I also thought about talking a bit about song structures. Because this is one of the layers, and this is something very hard to grasp, I guess, for new people, especially. I don't actually like using the word song, because using the word song implies that uh, it's a vocal piece of music, while it can be an instrumental piece of music. Piece of music? Is that the better word? I don't know. Also, I want to say something else, but I forgot what it was. And these these thing this these wires are just 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 the worst. You know, they're so tiny. I just I've been soldering 
Big Jack. Big Jacks like these. And XLRs like I'm not gonna show you because I have them plugged with to the mics. And oh well, man, this they are easy compared to that. This is so tiny. And also the I'm not sure if this is gonna even solder well. I'm just afraid I'm gonna be trying to, to do this forever and it's not gonna work. And also this is stereo, which is the pain in the butt because I have four wires. Alright, so the song structure. For example, a typical song structure would be intro, first verse, chorus, second verse, bridge or solo, and then another chorus and outro. That's like the most basic template that you can write any song within and it's gonna... It should work well because it's pretty pretty simple. There is some repetition but there is some parts that are non-repetitive because you have re the repetitive parts which is which are the song the, the verses and the choruses also the intro and outro could be very similar to make a kind of an accolade around the whole composition so the beginning is directly referencing the end or the end is directly referencing the beginning of the piece which creates a nice feeling in the listener and this is also used in many other forms of art, like writing and song structures. There's a funny way of expressing song structures, which I really like because it's a very, like, you know, a basic thing that is quite easy to understand. And this is with letters of the alphabet. So you basically uh, name each unique section of a song, of a, of a musical composition, its own letter, starting from A, B, and etc. So if you are, if your song has only verses and choruses, you'll name the first appearing block A and the next different block B. So you have A for verses and B for choruses, and you have A B A B structure, which is a verse chorus verse chorus, and you can easily in just one string of letters describe the major features of the whole composition, which is very cool, I guess, because you can also discuss song structures with people very easily with this. You don't have to use, you know, weird names and just, you know, break it up too much. You can just use letters and... Oh man, this doesn't want to trim. Should I burn this? And I have this white fluffy stuff just everywhere and wow, what can I do with that? These headphones are actually my future wife's uh, and I broke them so that sucks I need to fix them because well that sucks if you break something that you borrow I could just buy another pair but that would be a waste of money because these like they could be fixed, so why not fix them? This is ground. Yeah, so this is kind of a system which I use to think about music and describe music to myself and like think about how what I like about some people's music, what I don't like. For example, I I really admire the rhythm and the sound design of noisiest music, but I lack melody and harmony in there in that in there. And I would, and for example, that is why I really like Savant's music because it's rich in all the planes. Right? It's it's so full of everything, and I really like that because you can really listen to his music over and over, and you discover different things on different planes of the musical, in the musical space, as you might say. And it keeps, it's, it's still being interesting because he is using very, very interesting sound design. So that's timber or the chromatic layer, I would say. Chroma meaning color. This is why chromatic scale is called the chromatic scale because it has all the colors of the 12 tone um, uh, Eastern European music 
uh, tuning system that you can use in, in a piece. So it, it's all the colors, chroma. So that hence the chromatic scale. Oh man, I think I'm gonna do this! Oh. Look at that. I am so going to do this. This is the ground thing. Oh shit. Am I? Ah oh, man. Yeah, I really like Savant's music. He's a Norwegian producer who has been diagnosed with Asperger's, I guess, and hence his name. At, at least that's what the, the people say, or the Wikipedia. And he is. He's just creating music at amazing pace putting out full-length albums like every... He was putting f out full-length album like every six months. That is absolutely insane. Sheesh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I think I should just lock down some of that. Just just the ground. I'm gonna lock just the ground with the... with the thing. The thing. What a, what a, what a great name for a thing. A thing. The thing. It's not a thing, it's a the thing. I'm gonna give you a better view on the thing. Or maybe that's a better view overall on everything. Yay, sweet little thing. So yeah, because he uses interesting, uh, interesting, the very interesting parts together. It's interesting on many, many planes. I think my music is also interesting in many planes. I know people are very liking the rhythms I put in my music, but I also very heavily try to push my sound design and composition melodies and harmonies all the time. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to develop on all the planes. Also the vocal plane, the lyric plane, which is kind of, you know, like, additional it's not like the, the the main thing i do i mainly focus on on the music being instrumental and and being valuable as instrumental music the vocals are kind of added however i hope they are uh, and I, I i i try to make them good if, if you add them make them really good so i re-record a lot oh man this is terrible i'm gonna how on earth am I going to do this? So, if you if you think, for example, that you don't see a field of developing your music skills, think about all the fields, all the planes, all the different aspects of your music. Are you nailing the rhythm? Are you nailing the melody? Are you nailing the harmony? Can you do interesting things with chords? Can you do interesting things with synths? With sound design? Can you can you do interesting things with the timbre of the vocal? Like, you know, playing with pitch shifters, compression, you know, octave stacking, formant processing, this kind of thing. Can you do that stuff? Because, you know, thinking about these, these planes also helps you find room to to learn, to expand, to, to, to make your music more interesting. All right, I have two wires in holes. The third wire, I'm gonna solder this right now. I don't care what's gonna happen next. Like the third wire, it's just gonna stay there. It just has to, a big moment. Oh crap, I have paper, I need to put paper under this. I hope you're not considering this a waste of time watching me solder. I'm not very skilled with that. Or experienced a ton. Oh shit. Alright, there is hope in the galaxy. Whew. So yeah, I think the payload of the video is over. Now you can just stay and watch me solder ramble on. Oh dropping solder. Oh not good. Ah, uh, did it catch? Come on. Oh man, what? Ah, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. 
Oh, shit. I know what I have to do. I have to relay the whole thing. All right, so at least I have the, the wire locked in place. It's not gonna go anywhere because it has a big lump of solder on top of it. So no way for it to escape. Hope it's gonna be good. See this wire? This loose one? It should be in that hole, but I, I, I have no way of inserting it there. I don't know. This doesn't look very good. How am I going to insert this shit? I wonder if there's someone that you can send your headphones to and the jack and they're gonna solder it for you. That would be great. I think I need a needle. <sighs> I don't have a Oh, I have a needle. Not a needle, but I have this. That is the tool for the job. Brilliant. Oh, crap. Shouldn't go there, right? Oh, shit. Fuck. <sighs> this is terrible. Terrible. All right. Before I put this together, let's put it to the test. This works. And this doesn't. So I have one channel. Fuck. Why? This is no better than I what I had before. Doesn't do anything for me, right? I'm so frustrated with this thing. I have probably destroyed my plug. And I haven't fixed my headphones still, so what the fuck? How can I now undo this link there? I have a part of this that is soldered together that should not be, I guess. Or maybe, it doesn't matter, I don't know. Oh, I know what. This could be working. My headphone extension could be broken instead. It is working. Whew. Fabulous. Look at that. Poor job. But it works! Hey! Now I just have to somehow make it fitable into this little guy. I have to screw this on. I don't know how. <laughs> that is such a relief that it works. Maybe I should reflow some of the solder. Seat it up and make it... Maybe it's gonna make it smaller. I think I'm lacking some basic tools to do this kind of thing. <sighs> I think I need a hammer. Hammer time! Oh yeah, that's taking shape. I hope that's not gonna break my solder. Okay, let's test the thing. Does it still work? It does. Fantastic. Sounds very good. Okay, now it has all these, you know, bulks here and there. Come on, flatten, flatten, please. Oh shit. Ah. Oh crap. Well, it doesn't look good. Can you see that? <laughs> It does look good. Oh my. My adventures with this plug are not over. Oh man. I'm gonna be hot right now. Can't touch this. Listening test. Left. We have right. Good. I'm basically testing them by monitoring what I'm recording. Why is this thing so ill shaped? What the heck? <sighs> now that would, could technically work as a plug, but what I'm gonna do with this thing. This is not good. Why replacing a headphone jack is so difficult. I know they want you to buy new headphones, but man, I should have a grinder and just grind this off. Maybe I have some sandpaper that I can use for that. Going to look for some sandpaper. I have got no sandpaper. Uh, however, I have found this, which could have been very useful a few minutes ago. This shit doesn't work. Oh man, no, this just feels wrong. What am I gonna do? <sighs> I need something to grind it against. All I have is this. I don't really think that's gonna do it much. I'm gonna get back to this tomorrow because I'm out of ideas and time for this thing today. So there's the unfinished plug. Hopefully it's gonna work. So I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't a big waste of time, but maybe it was a pleasant, relaxing video for you to watch. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you want to watch me ramble while doing some... Oh, wait, 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 it's gonna fit. Please, just, 
just fit and, and be done, right? Right? Just once. Almost there! This is just the last turn, right? Come on! Come on! I have this. And now, if I put some mechanical insulation between this and the plug, I should be able to hold it tightly without breaking it. I guess I'm stuck with this plug. <laughs> Not completely screwed. Maybe that's a good thing. So, mission accomplished. Good work. Well done. I... I judge this to be kind of... partial success. Yeah, it is a success because the headphones work. They don't look fantastic yet but they work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I made it. Actually, what it needed was just a little bit of a uh, rasp work to um, cut down the extra solder. And that, and then it just, it just perfectly, beautifully screws up. <laughs> it screws up perfectly. Uh, right till the end and it looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy. So it's fixed. <laughs> all right. And then that's all I wanted to show you. It's basically, yeah. Uh, go now. <laughs> Bye. Uh, make some music. Make some music.